Well, hello everybody and good evening. I usually say good mornings, but we're saying good evenings here. Oh my gosh, that, that looks so cute. I put my spa headband on. We're gonna do some nighttime skincare. Josh is going to join me here in just a little bit to read comments because I won't have my glasses on. I mean, I won't have be able to put my glasses on and I don't have my contacts in because it's my nighttime skincare routine, right? So we are going to be hanging out and showing you guys some of my nighttime routine. One of the things that I like to do at night is, <clears throat> y'all know I'm obsessed with the coconut water um, that I get at Costco. This is the name of the brand. It's called Real Cocoa. It is organic coconut water from Taiwan, oh, Thailand. This is it. I get it at um, at Costco Business Center. Um, Costco might have a their version of it at the regular Costco. I tried one. I'm just pouring it over ice because I like to drink it cold. Um, it's pink coconut water. It tastes so good. It's the best coconut water I've ever had. And I don't like coconut water. In fact, I thought it... I I tried tons of coconut waters because it's so good for hydrating you, for your hydrating your body and the organs of your body, and your skin is your largest largest organ on the body. So I drink one a day to help with hydration. It's got natural electrolytes in it and stuff like that. It's so good for you. But I had such a struggle trying to find one that actually that I liked. Look at that hair. <clears throat> that I liked, and this one I love. All the other ones I think taste terrible. So, cheers for coconut. Uh, it's it's organic. Um, I think it's pink because the the coconut, the actual water of it is pink. Okay. Let me see. Good morning. I mean, good af good evening, Anna V. Lou. How are you? Good morning. Uh, good evening, Brenda. Good morning. Good evening, Connie. I'm so used to saying good morning that when I do a nighttime live, I can't get myself straight. Josh is going to join me. He's going to join, um, read comments Give for me. me. Two seconds. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get started and just do my nighttime routine from top to bottom with the exception of my very first step, which is taking off my makeup. So let me just tell you what I do because I don't have makeup on, so I'm not going to do it. I usually remove my makeup with my cleansing balm. My cleansing balm and my cleanser, I do back to back. That's called double cleansing. Double cleansing technically is using an oil-based cleanser to remove makeup and debris from your face. And um, then you use a water-based cleanser afterwards, when I use my custom, um, to cleanse your face, okay? I swear, like the second that I decide to go live, all things start falling apart. All things. Okay. Um, so let's pretend, Max, Max, come here. Max, come here. Max, back it up. Get in here. Come over here. Lay down. Lay down, Bubbas. Get away from that door. All right. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cleanse my face. If this was a real day where I had worn makeup, like I said, I'm going to remove my makeup with my with my cleansing balm first. So um, let's spritz my face. This is just water. Got a little bit of lavender essential oils on it. But this is my custom cleanser. This is my nighttime version. I am extra. I have a daytime cleanser and a nighttime cleanser. The reason I have separate ones and I don't use one for both is because this one has different boosters in it. This does not have the oil control that I have in my daytime cleanser. Instead, it has the replenishment booster. It does have um, pore minimizing and um, exfoliating. So I'm actually going to wet my face. Go ahead, babe. And apply there's, it to my there's, face. There's nothing to say. You've already said hi to everybody. Okay, perfect. 
I'm just going to get it on my face mixed with water. And I do that with my fingers to start. Did you say hi to Deborah? No. I didn't know Deborah was on. I said hi to Brenda. Oh, okay. Well, Deborah was at Bonfanti. Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh, she said good evening. And, good uh, evening. And, and hi, Brenda. Um, and then I'm going to take my Isla. This is from Fancy. This is what I use. It's Sonic and it, it um, vibrates. And I'm going to use, I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of water. Usually my face is way more wet because I'm in my sink. Okay. And I cleanse. Um, when I use my cleansing balm, I remove my cleansing balm with a muslin washcloth. And then I cleanse with this. And then I wipe this off with a, the same muslin washcloth. Hi, Noreen. Hey, Noreen. How are you? This vibrates and like jiggles out all of the things that are debris that's in your skin and in your pores. Babe, you have to, uh, you have to rewatch this and see how much your face shows that you're enjoying this. Oh, why does it look... <laughs> Sorry. I do like it. I mean, I like the vibration, the sonic vibration of it. It's just very calming. Okay. I'll put that. I'll wash that in a second. Hi, Jamie. So normally, hey, Jamie, normally um, this is already wet. This is wet now, but because I've um, removed my cleansing balm with water with this, this is a muslin washcloth just from like, um, I got it on... Um, Amazon. I got a pack of 10 of them on Amazon. And um, see, there is some debris that's coming off. It's probably the bronzer or uh, my self tanner. Um, and the reason muslin is really good, it's a super gentle exfoliant. But it's it's organic and um, very gentle for the for use, and so it just helps to exfoliate your skin and assist with cell turnover. So we're gonna spritz just a little bit more water on here. Make sure we get all this cleanser off of our face. Normally, I'm splashing in the sink. Okay. So we've got some. Uh... Uh huh. See, uh, Tiffany Carter, uh, was it? I can't pronounce the last name, I apologize. But Tiffany, good evening. Hey, Tiffany. Is it Michaela? Michaela. Says, thanks for your recommendations. We took advantage of them a lot this weekend. Good, Michaela. I'm so sorry to hear about what happened down in Galveston. Maybe Michaela had a layover in Houston. Okay. Um, from New Orleans. Her and her family went to New Orleans. <clears throat> and had a layover in Houston, so they decided to go down to Galveston yesterday. I was like, man, if it would have been just a week earlier, we could met up met up with her. There we go. Um, okay, so let me tell you what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to do um, an exfoliating pad. This has AHA and DHA. Sorry, beta hydro. No, BHA, alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid. This is an enzymatic or chemical exfoliant. It is a pad that you just rub on the surface of your face. I've been using this at night and in the morning, and you can actually cut the pad in half. Let me show you. Um, there, you have to take the pad apart. Um, sometimes they stick together, but I actually cut the pad in half to make it last longer because this pad is gigantic, okay? And then Did I- Did you say hi to Megan? Hey, hey Megan, how are you? And then also uh, Lisa. Hey Lisa, how I can't, you? I can't see, um, I can't see the comments, babe. You have to tell me who's on. Okay, and so I use this, this is Dr. Nassif, or in Houston we say Dr. Nassif. Like I know a lot of doctors by that last name and that's what we, uh, that's how they pronounce it, but um, 
This is Dr. Nassif Derm Dermaceuticals, and this is the Detox Pads Complexion Perfecting Pads with Alpha and Beta Hydroxy. This is a chemical and or enzymatic, really it's chemical, because it's acid, um, a chemical exfoliant. And I do this every morning and every night. To help you stay so young. To help, just help with cell turnover, okay? And here's a, here's a tip that I don't want you to forget. Don't forget your eyelids. Don't get it in your eye, but don't forget your eyelids. I don't think we think enough about exfoliating our eyelids. We often, ex especially with a mechanical exfoliant, the ones with the grit in it, I think we often forget that your eyelids are skin too. And if you can continue the cell turnover up there, it'll just help your eye makeup look a little bit better. Okay? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Sharon. How are y'all? Okay. So I'm, I should have probably used the whole pad because I do use the whole pad when I go down my neck and into my chest. The neck and the deck. We don't ever, ever, ever neglect the neck and the deck. Okay? The decolletage, if you will. Okay. So I've cleansed, I've done this exfoliating, and because this is a little burny, that's then I do my rose water afterwards. I'm going to get my rose water that's here in my little skincare fridge, and I'm gonna spray with rose water as my toner, and this is also gonna calm my skin. I was in the sun today. I. I'm over the top with my rose water. I do not care. I will buy this by the truckload. I wish we could buy it. I wish we could buy it um, in bulk and just refill this because I use a lot of it. Okay, so now while my rose water is wet, I am taking one drop of Uplift Beauty Oil. Now, I didn't start doing all these things, y'all. I started with some basics and then I built from there. And this is going around my eyes because that's a big concern for me is my eye area. And so I'm putting it on my lid, putting it under my eye. I'm putting it over my eyebrow. I'm putting it around where my crow's feet are right here just to prevent crow's feet from happening. And then whatever might be left over, I can put on the rest of my skin. Okay. So, so that was one drop divided between two fingers and put on one eye. Hang on, babe. Just right. really quickly. And then I'm going to do two more drops total. Three drops on your face. That's it. And the rest of my face and my neck is going to get the rest of this. Go ahead, babe. So, um, of course, uh, I, Debbie and Sharon come, came in and said hello. Lisa says she dermaplaned and cleaned all of her brushes today. <gasps> Lisa, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. I need um, to do deep cleaning on my brushes too. We're going to do a little bit of spot cleaning with um, some brush spray. April says, hey. Hey, April, how are she you? She says, hey, beautiful woman. And she even acknowledged me. Hi, April. Oh my gosh, hey, April. Um, and then Kathy wants to know, what are you dermaplane with? I can't remember what it's called. Me? I use the Derma Flash. It's down there somewhere. I use the Derma Flash. That's what I derma play with. I really like it. Okay, so while our our rose water was wet on our face, we put um, our beauty oil on. But I don't think, and I told y'all that, but I really don't think I told y'all that while my face is still wet from getting my cleanser off and putting the exfoliant on, that's, I'm still, I'm spritzing my face when my face is still wet, okay? Because this has sodium hyaluronate in it, it's going to literally grab whatever is on my face, water, those chemical exfoliants, and this beauty oil, and the sodium hyaluronate attracts a thousand times its weight in moisture and ingredients. So it's going to grab onto all that and literally drag it into my skin because of the small molecular weight and structure of sodium hyaluronate way more effective for you to use than hyaluronic acid sodium hyaluronate is a derivative of hyaluronic acid but not the same please do not confuse them i always say sodium hyaluronate 
is hyaluronic acids, younger, skinnier, prettier, and more expensive cousin. Me. <laughs> so, because it is, I mean, it literally can penetrate the dermis, the layers of the dermis, far more than hyaluronic acid can. Hyaluronic acid is just superficial. If you're wanting deep penetration into the layers of the skin, no jokes from the peanut gallery back there, you're gonna use sodium hyaluronic instead of hyaluronic acid. I knew you were about to say something. Uh, I, so I'm I just reading, cut I'm you reading, off at the pass. I'm reading right now, I, I can't keep up. Can't okay. Keep up. Uh, so just uh, while you're pausing, um, Jamie says she was outside all day too. She was cleaning the pool. Oh, Jamie. I love that you have a pool. Um, and then We're Michaela gonna said that she she bought the Dermaflash based on your review. I love it. We're going to do anti-aging serum. So one serum I already did was my Uplift Beauty Oil. Now, at nighttime, I do my anti-aging serum. During the daytime for my morning skincare routine, and I'll do one of those. Maybe I'll do the that Thursday since I don't have to, I mean, it's Tuesday since I don't have to work. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do my live, my morning skin time routine. And then y'all can have two lives to reference, one nighttime and one morning. Um, but I do my brightening serum in the morning. So this is my anti-aging serum. And I do this at night. Ooh. So um, Lisa says beauty oil was sold out today. Yes. And also wants to know which products have that sodium, whatever that word is that you were saying. Sodium hyaluronate? Yeah. A lot of them do, Lisa. Um, even some of the foundation products have it. The Serum Plus Foundation has it. The BB Cream has it. Uh, I want to say my con my concealer has it. Um, nice. right oh, my eye masks have it. Um, instead of hyaluronic acid, has that instead. Um... What else? Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. If you, um, I can make a list and send it to you. Here's the last thing I'm going to do, and I don't do this all the time, but I've been liking this because I'm using a different tool to apply it that's making things really much better for me. This is my night cream. Now, I was in the sun for a couple hours today. I really need this night cream. This has the replenishment booster in it, too, um, as well as the calming booster. And so, wait, does it have calming? Hang on. Karen says, good evening. Hey, you Karen. She said, girl, you are, you are amazing. Oh, who? Karen says, good evening. Girl, you are amazing. Aw. Thank you. Okay, my night cream has, sorry, it has the time correcting booster, the replenishing booster, and the elasticity booster, not the calming. Elasticity, time correcting, and replenishment. Um, custom skincare is not on sale this month, but I can still help you. If we do it on subscription, it's then discounted, which is why it's not on sale. Pretty much everything on the website's on sale, unless it's subscription. Um, so, I can help you figure that out if this is something that you want to do. I have custom, I have a custom night cleanser and a custom day cleanser that's different. I have a custom serum that I use in the mornings. I have a custom day cream and a custom night cream. They all have different boosters in them. Don't get all the same boosters, okay? The day cream, oh, I don't have it here. So, what do you, um, do you use anti-aging uh, just in the nighttime only? Yes. Or? I just that use anti-aging in the morning the i mean in the evening um i use brightening in the morning okay so just to tell y'all what my boosters are just now this doesn't mean that they're going to be great for you i'm going to help you problem solve and figure out which boosters are best for you this is a terrible no that's awful dirty yeah. dirty mm -hmm. dirty come here okay hey. so my cleanser this is nighttime cleanser has exfoliating um Pore diminishing and uh, wait, what's and replenishment? Okay, my daytime cleanser has exfoliating, pore diminishing, and oil control. So those are two different things. Your skin repairs itself at night. 
your nighttime skincare routine is super important. Typically from the hours, like for about four hours is when your skin is actively working to repair itself every single night while we're sleeping typically. So why not help it along with, a, with some ingredients that help replenish it um, and make that process a bit more effective for us, okay? That's why I decided to do something a little bit different. Not sure if everybody has considered that as an option, not to use the same, really same nice. thing during the day and at night. My night cream has elasticity, time correcting, replenishing. My daytime moisturizer, different. Poor diminishing, brightening, and mine now, right now, has a tinting booster in it, but I didn't get that for the second one because I have to, I'm going to replace here pretty soon. I wouldn't put tinting in your moisturizer as your booster. That's a waste of a booster. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me tell you why it's been so amazing for me to start, like, to discover a brand new tool. This is a skincare brush. This is from Anissa Beauty. I've shared the link with a couple of people. I do not have any affiliation with these people, but I will say, let me just, I'm just going to spritz it and sanitize it. Um, I will say that y'all know I'm going to share something. If I wind up liking something, I'm going to tell y'all about it. Okay, this has the tint, it had the tinting booster remnants in it from the, my day cream. I've been using my day cream, y'all. I don't normally use day cream, I just use my serum. Um, but I've been using my day cream and it's because I'm applying it with this brush and I'm using far less. And I'm not getting that balling sensation and I'm not getting that like heavy, like moisture sensation. What? <laughs> and this is fresh Sorry, out of the Renee. fridge. Renee says that uh, that squeaking toy has her dog Nala looking for hers. Oh my God, Renee! <laughs> now it's, it's I can... Max. It's all Max. I promise. Yeah. Um, and I'm taking my moisturizer. You know what I should do? Hey, I... Debbie, did you use it too? She says she loves the skin care. The uh, the brush. Did you get it? I love this skincare tool, she says. Maybe she meant two. Unless she got the brush already. Did it arrive? They're pretty quick with their shipping. Yes, items. she did. Okay. Yeah, I love it too. I uh, introduced it last week to you guys. I had been using it for about a week and a half before I decided to say, oh yeah, it's the end all be all. Um, but... So before, my tool that I used to apply my night cream on with was my hands. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. What's wrong with and using I, your hands? Well, because it would always feel like heavy. And you know, sometimes, I don't know if anybody's had this. Josh, I know for sure you have it because you don't do skincare. He washes his face with shampoo or something. Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders. That's it. Why? It's so unfair. It's so unfair. I use something different and I get like a breakout. He uses head and shoulders and his skin's like living its best life. It's so stupid. Anyway. So Kathy wants to know hey, what the, the brush is called again for your night cream. What that brush is made. This, Kathy, this is a skincare brush. And I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's from a company called Anissa Beauty. But there's a bunch of different Anissa Beauties out there. If anybody wants the information on the skincare brushes, just put brushes in the comments and I will send you their exact website because you'll get, we had a couple mishaps when I just said it one day on a live and people were like, I can't find those brushes and it was the wrong websites they were on. So you can put it in the comments. I'll send you the link to it. I don't have, it's not like a link like you know, like I have a launch link. It's not anything like that. It's just literally a link to the correct website. So you're not searching all the Anissa Beauty websites to find out which one has a picture of this on it. Do you know what I mean? So, um, so here's the deal. Josh was like, what's wrong with using your hands? Well, I would always overuse product when I used my hands and it would get, I it would be on my face so heavy that sometimes it would make me sweat. Does, has anybody had that before where like, it's so thick on your face.
that literally like sweat beads are coming up from underneath. Like your skin's like, what's going on? I need to breathe because <laughs> you accidentally put too much on. Now I'm avoiding that at all costs these days because I'm doing that. And then also I get the same effect because um, I can put this on my chest and literally just buff it around and whatever is in the brush then gets spread everywhere. Okay, I got my adjustable bra. Oh my God, that reminds me. I have to order some new panties for Mia um, and some new bras for her on the 4th of July sale. Ebby's having a 4th of July sale. The link is in my bio, but um, I mean in my description, but I had to check to make sure there's not a special code. There might be a special code. If so, anybody wants it, I'll send it to you. Leslie made a good point. I need you to hear this. Okay. It's not related, she knows, to the live, but she sees how John looks like his dad. Uh, Leslie. Have you lost your mind, Leslie? What is happening? No, ma'am. That child is looks like me, Leslie. Me. Leslie, you're feeding the beast, honey. Feeding the beast. I'm taking over these children. Mia they're, looks they're, like him. They're slowly growing into me. No. Leslie, no ma'am. You're feeding the beast. Okay. So this, I keep this on the fridge. I love the coolness of it. It's got the calming kind of sensation there. Now, we're just going to take our little roller. And we're going to get all this circulation on our skin massaged in with all these ingredients, get circulation and oxygen to the skin, and then it's going to help to pull everything in and soak in even better when we have better circulation. Kathy agrees with the sweating. Yeah. Okay, Kathy. Totally agree. Uh, Kathy, uh, Kathy Brown. I do not agree with Leslie. I agree with Kathy. Kathy Brown said she <laughs> agrees with the sweating. And then uh, Kathy Genga, Genga mm -hmm. says, um, I lost it. Our internet had a little hiccup. Uh oh. Uh, that she has the same problem with the uh, sunscreen, as, with her sunscreen as well. Yeah, sunscreen does it too, right? It's just the heavier products um, it sometimes feel a little bit heavier on your skin. So this brush has like, I don't have that sensation at all, which makes it far more appealing to do it on a regular basis. I used to not use night cream really, and I would just use the Uplift Beauty Oil because I, I didn't really like that. And I, it was user malfunction. I mean, I was the one applying too much, but I just couldn't help myself because it feels so good on you that I was like lathering it on. Well, now I'm getting the same sensation, but with, with a brush and I'm using a lot less, so it's gonna last me a lot longer. And I'm not feeling like I'm drowning in moisturizer and my skin's not breathing. Okay. So, uh, Renee says John has my skin coloring. Yes, 100% John has, yes, absolutely. Kathy, Kathy Ganga says that uh, John has my smile. And then Michaela wants to know what we're drinking. Um, Michaela, I have coconut water in a wine glass. This coconut water that I love so much in a wine glass. Um, because of its hydrating um, and natural electrolytes and its hydrating properties, I drink coconut water once a day and I haven't had any today. So if I haven't had it, it's a part of my nighttime routine um, because it really helps hydrate your organs and your skin is the largest organ on your body. So um, it hydrates you literally from the inside out, the coconut water does. So now I'm putting on my body cream. The thing about this, this is the coconut flavored, coconut scented, I always say flavored, um, the coconut scented body cream. Um, and I freaking, love it. I like the original scent too, but I love anything coconut scented. It makes me feel like we're at the beach. And y'all know that's like a happy place for me. So, um, so I'm putting on my body cream. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to do my body scrub before I get in the shower. Typically, that's part of my Monday morning routine. Um, 
and we'll look I got a little bit of a tan line today see that and then I'll put the body butter over my chest too even though I put my night cream there but it's that part of my body doesn't bother me if it's over hydrated or over moisturized and in fact the the chest area often shows signs of aging pretty quickly especially with sun exposure you know that leathery wrinkly thing and I'm just trying to avoid all that at all costs normally I would do my legs but I can't pull my leg my uh, pants are too small at the ankle to be able to pull up over so so Michaela says that she can see how you needed that co need that coconut water I thought I was gonna die from all the humidity oh my gosh Michaela she's used to the dry heat it was hard to get uh, accumulated to it acclimated to it sorry Michaela, aren't you in Texas somewhere though? Don't you live in Texas? Like, I want to say the hill country, or am I just not remembering correctly? Michelle Buckner says, hey girl. Hi. Hey Michelle. Hey girl. Hey, what's going on? Yes, Michaela, it's super important here. I mean, today I think the high was 103. Um, and the humidity is no joke. This is New Mexico. New Mexico. Well, okay, west. Just west of us. You're our neighbor. Um, but you're, yeah, you're right. You're dry. That's why I was thinking hill country because it's so dry over there. Lisa says that she, uh, that Vita Coco makes a spiked coconut water and it's delicious. Oh. Oh, and I'm drinking Maker's Mark. Josh is not drinking anything with electrolytes on that. <laughs> it has ice. This coconut water is my favorite. I typically don't like the taste of it. But this actually tastes like coconut. It's amazing. And it has no Ooh. added sugars or anything. Kathy says it's 116 for her today with a humidity of 77%. Yeah, Kathy lives in the desert of, of California, babe. Well, that's, like, that's, that's very dry. It's a, I'll trade you. Yeah, so Kathy... Our heat index today was over 120 with all the... Yeah, all the, the heat index there. was. Um, and Michaela will tell you, like, it's stifling. My aunt Nessie came from Newfoundland, Canada, and it's an island, so they have some humidity, but she was not prepared for what we've got down here. And New Orleans is pretty much the same way. Michaela, did you feel like New Orleans was about the same as us? Because it usually is. Um, yeah. My aunt said the first time she came here, literally she stepped off the plane and the humidity literally took her breath away. Like she... <gasps> She felt like she couldn't breathe. The air was so thick with humidity. Well, it's probably because she wanted a cigarette. No. She was talking about the humidity, Josh. My gosh. Joshua. Y'all, so, Josh is going to be at convention with me. Do we have any wise sisters on that are going to be there? Michaela says her good friend uses coconut water, crystal light, and some vodka for a refreshing drink. What? Lucy Andre says it's 108 in Cal it was 108 in California today. Oh my gosh. And I already said, Debbie said Arizona was fire. Yeah. Um, oh, Michaela says she was not prepared either. New Orleans was worse, but close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Kathy. Well, see, you were also down in Galveston yesterday. And so down by the coast, it's not really as bad as it is in Houston because they have that coastal breeze that kind of blows all that out and like keeps things moving. And it's not as oppressive. But when it's still here and you have no breeze, it's literally oppressive. I don't have another word for it. Kathy said they got up to 80 today. Kathy Ginga. Kathy lives in Washington State. Michaela said I was so wet and sweating the whole time. <laughs> I know, like, I didn't Michaela. even bother uh, doing my hair, putting on makeup. No, for dude, real. No, for real, real. For real, real. No, ma'am. And it, you acutely became aware that parts of your body that you never knew sweat had the potential to sweat. Facts. <laughs> yes, Max totally agrees. <laughs> Totally Jamie, agrees. Uh, Jamie Rawls Womack says she's going to be there with her husband. Um, Jamie, Josh is going to be there, so maybe Josh is going to go. Um, there's a car show. Hey, zip it. Kathy, we don't have to have a dehumidifier in the house because our AC runs constantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jamie and whoever else is going to be at convention, Josh and John are going to go with me. Um, while we're conventioning, Josh watches a car show 
um, based out of Salt Lake City, and he's gonna go like explore and see if he can like go look at their showroom and da, 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 all that other kind of stuff. Decent buy something. unnecessary stuff. Do not buy a car, please. I will not buy a car. Nobody can afford that. Um, was, what's the name of it? Diesel it Brothers or Diesel something? Diesel Brothers. No, it's called Sparks Motors or something. They don't do a TV show anymore. It's all online. Oh, they don't. Okay, but they're they're like TV famous reality so car Michelle show. So Buckner people. says. So basically, the temp forecast for most of us today was fire. Hell no. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Exactly. Michelle, what was it like for you? What was your temperature today? I Kathy, mean, Kathy's the winner at just barely getting to 80 today. Kathy, uh, Kathy, Mia's not going to be able to go. She's got to stay here to dance. Yeah, so Mia made Varsity Dance Team, and they um, start their dance camp for, for the newcomers the day convention starts. So um, she was going to go. I mean, like, we bought a ticket for her. I have a ticket for her to tour corporate. I bought tickets for all of them to go with me to corporate to tour. Um, so really wanted them to see, like, it's amazing. And I wanted them to see, um, like, the real experience of not just the place, but the people at corporate and the heart of what sometimes takes me away from them. <laughs> So I wanted them to have an appreciation for like how amazing it is and how amazing everybody there is. Um, so they, they can kind of understand why I'm so driven and passionate about it. So um, we had bought a ticket, a flight ticket for Mia, a corporate tour ticket for Mia. Um, those will just, we'll have to get credit for the flight. We can't do anything about the tour, but it's going to be a donation, I guess. So, but she can't, they're doing the dance camp. So she's got to stay here with Nona. And Nona's going to take her back and forth as, as she needs to be, you know, taken Tammy places. Tammy said her high was 66 and rainy today. Tammy, where is that? Michelle Buckner said 102, but with humidity felt like 113. I want to say Tammy's like in Delaware or it's the Northeast. Oh, Western Washington doesn't have the, doesn't have the snow, heat, and humidity like Eastern Washington. Tammy says she's from Maine. Maine, yeah, Northeast. I said Delaware, but it's the same general area, sort of. Sort of. Maine's a little bit farther north. Although, so, Tammy, you know where my mom's from then, because you're probably the closest state to where my mom's from in Newfoundland, Canada. Um, okay. Well, what's the matter? What are you laughing at? Oh. You. Well, that's my nighttime skincare routine. We are done. We just let everything soak in. I'm going to just go ahead and... Mm, clean my brushes that I did not clean yesterday with that I was using. This is another brush from that company, Anissa Beauty. Oh, and this one too. This is the Angled Concealer Brush. Love it. Been using it ever since. You know, I this is the Sonia Kashuk one. This is $9. This is not $9. Just saying. This is like $20 something dollars. Okay. These are the two little concealer brushes, but this one is much smaller. You can see it's angled and it fits really well in there. I've been loving that. Um, this is a curved, this is a crescent eyeshadow brush is the name of it. Um, it's curved and I've been loving, I'm not going to put it to my face, but I'll show you where I've been loving like right here and then just following my eyeball and rotating it has really helped to create a crease for me. Um, it's just super fun. That was this was one of the reasons. This was this was the brush I saw somebody use, and I was like, I need that brush. Then I went to her website, and the next thing you know, a whole bunch of money and a few free gifts later, I had a whole collection of her brushes. So Timmy said that they're about an hour from the Canadian border. Oh, okay. And Debbie um, said that she got that eyeshadow crease brush too. Yeah. Game changer. Game changer. It's so good. It's. So good. Um, what's what other ones did I get? I got the Debbie. Did you get the Pinnacle smudge brush? Really? Yeah. Kathy wants the crease brush. Yeah. This is the Pinnacle smudge brush from them. It's a it's a triangle, um, and you can use like the long edges to like smudge out stuff, and you can use the point to like detail things. It's okay. I I. It's not as good as my brow artist brush, 
but that's fine. It serves a purpose and we'll find it. We'll find it. Um, okay, any other questions about nighttime skincare before we head off? Because I've got to work in the morning. Um, and who all is going to be at convention? Because we're going to take pictures. We are going to hang out. Oh, I need to walk. I need to clean this. This is my my lip brush. You can see it's got lipstick on it. Um, we're going to hang out. We're going to take pictures and all the things. And then I want to know if anybody who's attending convention is going to be able to stay the day after convention for the special You Grow Roundup, which I've been asked to be a speaker and actually be the first speaker for that and do a training for whoever attends. So if you guys are going to be there, I will see you there. And I'll be doing a training for y'all. I'm still Kathy working on my convention information. Yeah. Yeah. I know that everybody, on the, I know the folks on my team who are going. Jamie said yes. And uh, Chris said he can go to the car show. Okay. <laughs> Chris wants to go see the car people too. Um, and then, I'll have a rental. We can go. Yeah, Josh will have a rental car. We'll, we're going to rent. We arrive Wednesday about 9.30 in the morning or 9 in the morning. Um, and then just for my so that my team knows, um, we're going to actually stop by like a grocery store or something um, on the way to the hotel. I mean, we can't check into like three anyway or something. Um, so we're going to do some little sightseeing things. We'll stop by a grocery store as well. Um and I'm going to get some snacks to have snacks and bottled waters in our room just for everybody um, if you need it. Okay. And also, I already have got all these things, but I do have a gift for anybody on my team who's going to convention. I have a little goodie bag for y'all. And we just have to put it together. So, things just to look out for. Things to look out for. It's going to be a fun, fun, fun few days. We're going to take lots of pictures. A couple of people are already, are, were already like, I want to take a picture with John. We got to, we got to. Make we, him shave first. We got to make him shave and brush his teeth, y'all. No offense, but dude, what is up with that? 16 year old boys should be brushing their teeth and not have to be reminded. Renee said she took the week off. Let me know if you need help with anything. Okay, Perfect. Perfect. Renee lives there, so she's not staying at the hotel, but she's going to attend and do all the fun things. And then we have the, the, we have the 5K. I'm not doing the 10K. I'm doing the 5K. Um, fundraiser for Sapria. So um, that's exciting. We'll do that on Thursday morning. We'll do our corporate tour as a team. We're going. Um, well, those of us, Diane's not going to be there till Thursday, so she can't go to the corporate tour on Wednesday with us. But... Um, the uh, corporate tour on Wednesday night. We'll hang out afterwards. Although I need to talk to y'all because that corporate tour is allegedly supposed to be like, they're like, please allow three hours for the corporate tour. I was like, what? That's five to eight. Are they going to feed us and serve us cocktails? That's prime happy town, happy hour time. Sorry. So, okay, we're done. That was my nighttime skincare routine. Great catching up with you guys. Um, we will see y'all tomorrow bright and early in the morning, 7.30 Central Standard Time to get ready for work. All of this yummy goodness is going to soak in overnight. My skin is already soft, so um, it's going to soak in overnight. And we'll be ready and refreshed and have beautiful skin to apply makeup to tomorrow. We will see y'all later. Have an amazing rest of your Sunday night.